Have you ever heard the term, we are living in the last days? There has been wars, calamities, sickness, diseases which point to the end of days. It hints at a time of profound transformation, a time often referred to as the last days. So, what does this sacred book reveal about the ultimate destiny of our world? Stay tuned if you want to unravel the mysteries of the last days according to the Bible. The Bible, particularly the New Testament, discusses the end times in quite some detail. Let's take a look into the key biblical passages that discuss the end times. The book of Revelation, the last book of the New Testament, is a prophetic account given by the Apostle John. It describes a series of visions that foretell the end of the world, including the final judgment and the ultimate triumph of good over evil. In Revelation, we find the concept of the rapture. This is the event when believers in Christ, both living and dead, will be caught up in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. It's a moment of hope and joy, a promise of eternal life with Christ. But following the rapture, according to biblical prophecy, is a period known as the Tribulation. This seven-year period is marked by great suffering and devastation as God's wrath is poured out on the earth. It's a time of trials, tribulations, and the rise of the Antichrist. Yet even in these dark times, there's hope. The Bible speaks of the second coming of Christ. This is when Jesus will return to earth, defeat the forces of evil, and establish his kingdom. This event marks the end of the tribulation and the beginning of a thousand-year reign of Christ, known as the Millennium. The Old Testament also has its share of prophetic books discussing the end times. Daniel and Ezekiel, for instance, provide visions and prophecies that align with those found in Revelation. They speak of nations rising against nations, of great beasts and of a final battle between good and evil. In essence, the Bible presents a timeline of events leading to the end of the world as we know it. It's a narrative filled with symbols and metaphors, but also with clear-cut promises of hope and redemption. These events, as described in the Bible, paint a vivid picture of what the end times might look like. The Bible doesn't leave us in the dark about the signs of the end times. As we look at the scriptures, we find that the Bible provides us with a clear picture of what to look out for. These are not meant to scare us, but to prepare us, to make us aware of the times we're living in. One of the most mentioned signs is wars and rumors of wars. The book of Matthew chapter 24 verse 6 says, You will hear of wars and rumors of wars, but see to it that you are not alarmed. Such things must happen, but the end is still to come. This is a clear indication that tumultuous times of conflict and strife will be a prevalent sign of the end times. Next, we find references to natural disasters, particularly earthquakes. In the same chapter of Matthew verse 7, it reads, Nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. There will be famines and earthquakes in various places. These occurrences, though terrifying, are pointed out as signs to be aware of. Famines are another sign highlighted in the scriptures. The lack of food, scarcity, and hunger are indicators of a world in turmoil, a world nearing its end. Lastly, the Bible warns us of the rise of false prophets. These are individuals who will claim to speak the truth, who will claim to be the Messiah, but their intentions are far from pure. They will lead many astray, and this deception is a significant marker of the end times. We must remember these signs are not meant to incite fear, but to make us vigilant, to keep us on our toes. They serve as a reminder for us to stay true to our faith, to hold on to the hope we have in Christ, and to stand firm in the face of adversity. These signs, according to the Bible, will herald the coming of the end. The Bible repeatedly emphasizes the importance of being prepared for these end times. One of the key messages that resonates throughout the Bible is the call for spiritual readiness and vigilance. We are often told that the end times will come like a thief in the night, unexpected and sudden. It is this unpredictability that underscores the urgency of being prepared. Let's take a moment to review the parable of the ten virgins, as told in the book of Matthew chapter 25. In this story, Ten virgins were waiting for the bridegroom. Five of them were wise and brought oil for their lamps, while the other five were foolish and did not. 
When the bridegroom finally arrived, only those who were prepared could join him, while the others were left out in the cold. This parable serves as a cautionary tale, reminding us of the importance of spiritual preparedness. Jesus himself emphasized vigilance in his teachings. He urged his followers to watch and pray, to be alert and sober, and to keep watch, for they do not know the day or hour of his return. This call to vigilance is not just about being aware of the signs of the times, but also about maintaining a steady, faithful relationship with God. Being prepared in this context is not about stocking up on earthly supplies or creating a physical bunker. Instead, it's about cultivating an enduring faith, living righteously, and keeping our spiritual lamps filled with the oil of God's Word. It's about seeking and maintaining a personal relationship with God, being persistent in prayer, and living out the teachings of Christ in our daily lives. This spiritual preparedness is not just for the end times, but it's also for our journey through life. It helps us navigate the trials and tribulations we face, keeping us anchored in our faith and focused on our eternal destination. The Bible's message is clear. Stay alert and stay ready. Despite the ominous predictions, the Bible also offers hope for the end times. It becomes abundantly clear that the Bible, while warning us about the trials and tribulations of the end times, also extends a beacon of hope, a promise of redemption. This hope isn't just a vague notion, it's a concrete certainty that is intertwined with the very fabric of Christian faith. The Bible teaches us of a promise, a promise of eternal life for believers. In the book of John, it is written, And this is the will of him who sent me, that I shall lose none of all those he has given me, but raise them up at the last day. This verse reassures believers of a life beyond the physical, a life that transcends the constraints of our mortal existence. This hope, however, is not confined to the promise of eternal life. There's another aspect that brings solace to the hearts of believers. It's the establishment of God's kingdom on earth, a time when righteousness will reign and the troubles of this world will be no more. In the book of Revelation it is written, Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away. This passage unveils a vision of a new world, a world where God's righteousness prevails, a world of peace. These promises, these hopes, are not meant to be mere consolation prizes in the face of daunting end times. They are the very essence of Christian faith, the bedrock upon which believers stand. They are the assurances that in the midst of trials, there is triumph. In the face of despair, there is hope. In the grand narrative of the Bible, the end times are not just about the culmination of history or the judgment of the world. They are about the fulfillment of God's promises, the realization of a hope that has been anchored in the hearts of believers since time immemorial. In the midst of the chaos, the Bible assures us of a hopeful end. So what have we learned about the end times according to the Bible? We discovered that the Bible paints a picture of the end times as a period of great tribulation, but also one of divine fulfillment. From the rise of false prophets to the increase in natural disasters, these signs serve as reminders, nudging us to stay vigilant and discerning in an ever-changing world. This is not about fear, but rather an invitation to live a life of righteousness and faithfulness. It's about being spiritually ready maintaining a strong connection with God, and continually seeking His wisdom and guidance. But it's not all doom and gloom. We also touched on the hope in the end times. Despite the trials and tribulations, the Bible assures us of God's unyielding love and His promise of eternal life. This forms the crux of our hope, the belief that all things will culminate in God's ultimate victory and the establishment of His eternal kingdom. Though the end times may be filled with uncertainty, one thing remains clear. The Bible offers guidance, hope, and the assurance of God's unending love.